I'm Rin. My pronouns are they, them, and this is a channel about cross-stitch. Uh, occasionally other things will pop up. I actually have a diamond painting I'm working on right now, which I'll probably show off next week when it's done, and a few others in the mail, which I'm excited about. <laughs> but mainly, mainly cross-stitch. Okay, um, news today, or this is floss tube. This is floss tube number four, by the way. It's February 1st. Yay, first month of 2022 is over with. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that are excited about that. <laughs> okay, I got up to 75 subscribers. Yay. Uh, welcome in, new people, because I think I've just gotten over 50 or so in the last one, so that's really exciting. Um, if you came over from the Keyblades to the Kingdom Stitch Along, welcome. Uh, Little note about that, I do have another bonus Keyblade coming out this month. I'll actually be uploading it as I'm uploading and making this video, so by the time you see this, it will be up on my Ko-Fi page, and I'll put a link to my Ko-Fi shop. And as always, that is free, and that's a bonus one. It won't be in the main pattern, so if you wanted to use it for anything else, or you wanted to um, substitute in or something, then you'd have to download that one. Okay, I've also been working on other patterns this month. Uh, I put out a Chrono Trigger pattern earlier this month, middle of the month. I was trying to stagger and put doing the Chrono Cross patterns at the beginning of the month and then a different video game middle of the month. I think I'm just going to put everything out on the first of the month because then I have, don't have to try to like remember and keep track of it and it's easy. And it doesn't really matter when I put them out anyway. So I will also be uploading the and also I put up a picture of I don't have a stitch version of the Chrono Trigger pattern I have someone working on it and hopefully they'll have some updates soon on that uh, so I'll just put up the the digital mock-up of what it'll look like uh, I also have 10 new Chrono Cross patterns coming out yes, I know I'll just kind of like run those through well I'll put nine of them up here uh, the the digital mock-ups. I did stitch one of them, so you will see that when we get to finishes. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm doing a lot of those. <laughs> it's really more for me than anything. I really want to stitch them. I don't really think that many people or maybe anybody will download them, but I figure I'm making them for myself anyway, so I'll just put them out there. So, since I'm not going to do it in the middle of the month, I'm going to do it the first of the month. The other video game this month is Kid Chameleon, which is a game that was on the Sega Genesis back in the 90s. And you get these helmets and you can turn into different, like, characters and have, do different things. So, I'm mainly doing this because uh, that was one of the games that my boyfriend had. He only had a few games for his system, so he played that one a lot. And so it's kind of nostalgic for him. And he is working on a test stitch of that for me too. It's not quite done yet. I'm hoping maybe I'll be able to show that off next time. But I'll put uh, the digital thing here. And it's, it's it's a fairly simple pattern, but it's kind of fun. And if you remember that game, you might be interested in it. I don't really expect that one to be a big, a big download one either. So th those are all the patterns that are coming out this month. So... I know we're, we're get to the like the stitching I did, but just trying to let you know what's there. You gotta, you know, all free if you wanna try it out. Uh, one other announcement. So I was supposed to be going to Pittsburgh in two days, but I am not. Mainly because I the weather. I was kind of less concerned about the weather, more concerned about the COVID numbers a couple weeks ago when I decided to cancel my trip, but the storm, so I have to fly from Florida up to Pittsburgh and go through North Carolina, and it's just, I haven't traveled by myself a lot. I don't have any experience traveling or driving in snow, or very, very little. I've, <laughs> maybe once or twice so I just don't feel like it would be safe 
for me. I just, eh. I'm disappointed, but you know, if I was just going to get stuck in an airport or be miserable, I'd rather not do that, really. So before we move into the stitching, a uh, pop culture highlight for this floss tube, I got the video game Undertale, which is for the Nintendo Switch. I mainly got this because one of the uh, floss tubers I watch, Tori, her, her channel is Hobby Stories. She was stitching some patterns from that because her daughter played the game and I just kept seeing them and I thought they're really cute. I haven't played the game much, but it is very interesting. It's very quirky. It has lots of uh, puns about fonts, like, yes, like typing fonts. <laughs> you just, you, you'd have to see it for it to make sense. But so far it's interesting and I'm, I'm curious to play some more of it, you know, when I'm not buried in a million stitching projects. <laughs> One of these days, maybe. So, oh, but before I get into that, I have some stitchy kindness, because if I don't do it now, I will totally forget. So, Jo, the stitchy cat lady uh, here on YouTube, she sent me this really awesome floss. It's so pretty. I know, right? Oh my goodness, I realized I forgot to turn the light on. Uh, okay, I'm going to do that right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, hopefully that's like better. Because <laughs> I realized I was like, oh geez, I forgot to turn this light on. And you're just kind of getting a little bit from here and here. So, oh, you know what? I should take this out of the plastic because then it's just going to be shiny. And I'm going to try to hold it like way away from the microphone so you can't hear it crinkling. Here we go. But yeah, this is just like really cool, like oranges and stuff don't know what I'll use it for, but I'm going to put it with all my fancy flosses and I'm sure that at some point I will find an interesting use for it because it is really, is really neat. It's very pretty. So yes, I got that and I think it was back before my last floss tube, but I forgot. Amber, the Rogue Mama Stitcher here on Instagram. She, not Instagram. Well, she is on Instagram, but also on floss tube. She sent me some really cute needle minders, which are actually on some projects. So I will try to remember to put some pictures up, but she sent me one is a little ghost cat, so cute. And then the other one is a little star that says uh, small talk survivor, which is really true. I don't, I like, I'll do it, but I think I weird other people out because I don't do it right. <laughs> anyway, uh, just, Yay, I love getting stuff in the mail and it's always like exciting. <laughs> so thank you. All right, now let's move on to the whips because I mean, that's what you're here for, right? And I feel like I've been going on a long time, but it probably hasn't been that long because I know I just kind of like roll along really quickly. But hey, that's good. I, I, I just don't really seem to make long videos. Oh well, okay. So first up, is Mini the Possibilities Evolution Rainbow Max Color. That's a mouthful. So this pattern is by Heaven Earth Designs, based on art by Walking Melons, and it's stitched on an 18 count easy count data. And I got a new program. Well, I tried it out before, I didn't like it. I kind of figured out the features and it's better now. Um, Markup RXP. I have an iPad and Pattern Keeper doesn't work on that and I don't really want to buy a whole tablet. Like I, I can barely convince myself to get the iPad. I'm not buying a whole other thing. So, but now that I have that, I can actually like count my stitches and be super fancy about it. <laughs> so on this one, this month, I did 2,223 stitches. So that's pretty pretty exciting. So here is my, wait, this way. <laughs> Here's my progress so far. So it doesn't look like much. There's a lot of black up here, but you can see some of the greens are starting to come in. This is going to be leafy on up here. 
and I think it's Glaceon over here, but it's hard to tell because there's not any of the colors there. But yeah, I got a number of the darker greens in, so I'm just starting to work my way into the main part. You can kind of see the, the ears here and the little face and stuff. So it's it's starting to look like something. It is. I. It's really fun to stitch. I really like it. And man, I get it. I get why people like love Pattern Keeper now. <laughs> Because this program isn't, it has some issues. It's not perfect. you got to input a lot of stuff yourself. But once you get set up, it's pretty good. But man, just being able to like select a symbol and then it's like finding all the ones on the whole page. <gasps> I feel like I've discovered so much stuff recently because before I got into the whole stitching community, I was doing paper patterns, like patterns out of magazines. I wasn't even like downloading stuff online. I didn't even know that was a thing. And I've been stitching for 20 years and it just, it just never occurred to me. And then I started discovering all these groups and I was just like, holy cow, man, what? So the first upgrade was like, oh, digital patterns. That's really cool. I don't have to have a piece of paper and I can zoom in, it's really nice. And now it's like, oh, well, just find me all of this color, and then I can stitch it, and then I can mark it off so I'll know what I've done, and then I can count things. And it's like, oh, <laughs> I don't know why I got like the hoity toity accent, but it's like, yes, do my work for me, program. <laughs> anyway, okay, we need, we need to move on because this is getting weird. All right, next up. So pretty much all of my, like all, well actually all of my whips are new starts. I didn't work on any of like my older whips. I know I was supposed to work on the, I, di I didn't. Well, I did work on one of my older whips, but it's finished. So it's, it's not a whip anymore. So next up is uh, the 2022 Pixel Prime style, the Power Up Plaza. So that pattern is by Pixel Prime. It's available on Facebook for free and I'm stitching it on 25 count Peter Lagana. So I'm doing my first two projects on 25 count. It, it's a little difficult at first. I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's, it's not it's not too bad. They're teensy weensy though, man. So you can basically see right here, this is the first page. So I've done a little bit over onto the second page on the top, but I'm mostly concentrating on this first page. And now I've got to work on filling in this, this light gray. I uh, kind of regret doing the light gray fabric. It probably would have just been easier to do the easy grid, but since I, let's see, I did 3,256 stitches. So it's, it's a little bit much to just restart. I mean, I could, but I don't, I don't want to. I'm, I'll, I'll make it work. So you can see we get the beginnings of the boxes where like the characters will go in. We get a little door up here and then there's going to be the whole like name of it over here. So it's, I've got, oh, I, I've got a ways to go. <laughs> this thing is big. And that's why I was doing on the 20 count fabric, 25 count fabric to try to keep it a little smaller. But yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of stitching. I don't think I'm going to stay. I'm definitely not going to stay as caught up on the one this year as I did last year, unfortunately. But I'm having a lot of fun with that one. I think it is cute. Okay, another new start. This is a four in one Golden Girls cross stitch pattern. The pattern is by Create Your Style 2020. So they're on Etsy. And I stitch it on, it's a 16 count, some sort of natural Ada. I'm not really like super sure what it is. Uh, so I did 1,751 stitches on that. And I haven't gotten super far, but I am nearly there with Blanche. So it's basically gonna be strips with the faces of the four golden girls going across, so. Starting with Blanche, and then I think it's Sophia, and Dorothy, and then Rose. Which I was doing this for uh, what, what was going to be Betty White's 100th birthday. Unfortunately, she's like the furthest one. I don't really like starting on the other side because of the way I stitch. It's really awkward, but I basically just got to fill in uh, 
on here now. So that should go pretty quick whenever I can get back to that. I'm not sure when that will be because I use, you can already tell I have lots of big projects going on <laughs> at the moment. So hopefully, because it does go pretty fast because it's just, it's big blocks of color. It's just finding the time. Yeah. Okay. One more, one more whip. Oh. Stay down there. So this is a, a pattern that I created. It's one of my Chrono Cross patterns. It's Serge's venue art. So I think I've shown here before, but I'll, I'll show a picture. Actually, I should have showed finished pictures of the evolutions too. I'll try to like in editing, sneak that in somewhere. <laughs> But I'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's finished, the mock-up. So this is, of course, a pattern by me. And it's it stitched on 25 count, easy count, Ada. Oh, I think I forgot to say that the Evolutions was on 18 count, easy count. But anyway. So I did 2,314 stitches on this one. And I got pretty, pretty far. This is, this is the first page of the pattern and I got his bandana done and his like the part of his face you can see here and now I just need to work on his hair so yeah um hopefully that's showing up pretty well because it's it's the the colors are a little dark so but hopefully the light kind of kind of shows it off but it's not very wide. This is the width of it, but it goes down pretty far. So it's gonna show like his face and head and then his torso, some of that. So those are my works in progress. As you can see, I've got some pretty big projects going, but I did finish a couple things this month. So I'm excited. First, I guess, since I just talked about uh, Chrono Cross, I will show off the Chrono Cross portrait I did this month. And here he is. So this character's name is Pip, and it's, it's basically a Pokemon. <laughs> like, this is like a Pokemon in the game. I mean, he's cute, and he's little, and he evolves. I, come on, it's Pokemon. <laughs> but he's so, he's so cute. I love him. He's so precious. <laughs> the little, the little hair is pretty cute. Oh, and his little face, and his little, I just, I, just, I'm just, I was I was having so much fun stitching. Like you're just so cute. Is one of my favorites. I love all the ridiculously like cute characters in that game. <laughs> okay, so yeah, oh, and yeah, of course that pattern was by me, and it's on a sixteen count Ada, and it was two thousand nine hundred and sixty five stitches. Now I can't give you a fancy stitch count on this next one because I started it in a different program and I wasn't gonna go back and count all of that whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so this one, oh, I was really excited to have this one done. So cute. So this is the Cozy Cafe Sal, patterns by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and I did this on a 16 count Ada, and I didn't really write down what, what it's, it's like a, a, some sort of like dyed natural fabric or something. I didn't write it down. I'm sorry. I was not as good about keeping these sort of records way back in last year. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you ready? It's so, it's so good. Look at this. Look at it. Those beads, my goodness. Like, oh, it's so good. I'm sorry I didn't iron it, but it's not too wrinkly, right? <laughs> but oh my goodness, I love it so much. And I like that there's some of the, the beads are like a flat, you know, matte. And then some of them are, you know, sparkly. Like this bear, that bear. Oh, cause he really doesn't stand out that well on the cocoa, but then you put those beads on him and he's, he's great. He's awesome. He's so cute. Oh, I love this one. It's adorable. I'm going to make it into a wall hanging to put up above our coffee area. It's going to go there with another stitch of like different types of coffees that um, Derek did. So 
couple like kind of companion pieces, but it's, oh, it's just so, it's, I love it so much. It's so cute. I've got to do some more of their patterns. Their patterns are, are really just so adorable. I love them, but yeah, that's a good one. So mm. if you like cute things, you should probably stitch that to it. You can get the pattern, the, the stitch alongs over, but the, the patterns are still available. So yeah. Okay, let's see. So that's my whips, uh, that's my finishes. Uh, let's talk about plans. So plans that I had for this month was to catch up on and finish Sal's. So I finished the one. I did not get caught up on the witchy stitcher, which if I was caught up, it would be finished, but I didn't, I didn't get a chance to work on that. I, I'm kind of putting that off intentionally. I have a whole thing that I'm doing in May, which I'll probably talk about in the next floss tube or two, but, uh, start the keyblades to the kingdoms test stitch. I did. And I finished parts one and two, which was like 8,000 stitches. It was, the, there's a reason why I'm giving people a whole month. <laughs> to work on this. They're not, it's not small. There's smaller sections interspersed, so hopefully it won't be too overwhelming, but I don't know. Um, I want to design, I've, I've designed most of my video game patterns, not the Chrono Cross ones. I kind of just do those every month because there's so many of them, but for the other video games I'm doing, I've designed most of them. I think I've got two left to do. I did another one this last month and I want to do try to get at least one more done this month so that I can have those ready to go and maybe also if you want to be a test stitcher for a video game pattern I will warn you most of them are not small I'm not too worried if you don't get them done before the pattern comes out but yeah uh, I should probably Maybe on my next video, I will, I should have most of them designed. And if anybody, well, first of all, if anybody would be interested in test stitching, but they're not quite sure because they didn't see the patterns. If you would want me to maybe put a part at the end where I talk about the patterns that are going to be coming out and put up pictures and see if anybody would be interested, just uh, drop a comment down below and I will add that to my next video. Hopefully if I can remember, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so, uh, yeah, all right, um, start the 2022 Pixel Prime Sal. Yep, I started that. Test stitch the next Chrono Cross Portrait, which you saw, got that done. And finish the season of the stitch pattern. I did not do that. <laughs> so I did pretty good. I just missed like one and a half. Okay, so I was just saying my plans for February. I want to finish part three of the Keyblades to the Kingdom. Um, test stitch the Harley portrait, which is the next uh, Chrono Cross one. Uh, design a, another video game pattern. I was talking about that when I was talking about designing patterns last month. And I want to stitch a Valentine's Bulbasaur. Found this really cute Bulbasaur pattern where instead of having like the plant on the back, he's got just like chocolate covered strawberry and it's really cute. And I want to, I want to stitch that. It's not very big. I, th I think I can work it in. Maybe. And it's a short month. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> okay. A little, little personal update at the end before we go. I decided to try to expand, uh, my knowledge of some other languages because I always found that kind of interesting. I've not necessarily been good at it. <laughs> so I took Spanish in high school and I took Japanese in college, just like one semester. Um, I never got very good at Spanish, I will admit. I don't know what it was. I, I just, I never, you know, get some of the basics, but trying to like listen to someone speak it, I just, could never <sighs> it's too fast I can't do it so of course I'm not trying to learn anything that would probably ever well I mean it may be useful but you know it's somewhat unlikely although I do know one person that speaks one of these languages 
So I'm going to, to work on my Japanese again because I've always kind of enjoyed that. It is difficult learning a lot of the languages from that region because they have completely different writing system and so that's kind of an extra hurdle. But I do, as I'm going through the lessons, it's kind of coming back to me a bit. I do, I'm, it seems familiar, if that makes sense. So the other language that I'm working on, and granted, I only started yesterday, so <laughs> it's not been very long, <laughs> but I have been enjoying the lessons. I'm using Duolingo, which is fun. It's sort of like a video game, you get like XP and gems and yeah, I don't know. If, if you're interested, that that's a kind of fun uh, app. But the other language is German. Because I like know someone now that speaks German. Hi, Alonka. <laughs> if you're watching this video, um, that's part of the reason. I, I also do have a lot of German in my background. My great, great grandparents immigrated from Germany. So, like, not that far back. Uh, yeah. Uh, last, Shaw, I think, was, eh. I'm really bad with that sort of stuff. Really terrible. My mom has told me about these things and I can't remember. <laughs> like, my last name is Irish, but I probably have more German than Irish. And then there's a lot of Scandinavian on the other side of the family. Anyway. I'm all, like, probably half of Europe, honestly. <laughs> all the white people. <laughs> Which makes sense, because I'm really pale. Anyway, so, as, as of now, I think I could order, like, four things in a restaurant in Germany, and they'd probably laugh at my accent. Because, <laughs> let's see, we've covered, like, coffee, wine, beer bread, water, milk, and some connecting words and please and yeah. So I'm working on it. It's fun. It's, you know, it's something to do. Not really going out and doing a whole lot of stuff right now. So it's, it's kind of fun. I really wish I would have thought of this like two years ago. It probably would have been, <laughs> could have used that. But you know what? If you don't start, you'll never uh, get anywhere. So, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try a sentence for you, Ilanka. Uh, um, coffee und Milch bitte. <laughs> I'm really sorry if my accent is terrible. <laughs> I'm slowly learning. I'm trying. I feel like it, it's interesting because some of the words are similar to English because English has its roots in German and other European languages, but you kind of also have to remember that the way it looks isn't necessarily going to be pronounced the, the English way, so you have to get used to pronouncing it differently. So, I'm going to keep trying. It's fun. I, I'll get my little gems and XP and horns. Like it blows little horns and get done with the lesson. So I don't know. It's, it 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 does help. It does make me want to do it more. <laughs> I, I guess that's good. Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. I don't want to have like a super long video to upload. Um, but check out my Ko-Fi store. I've got a bunch of patterns going up. They'll probably already be up by the time this video is out. And um, of course, uh, look for me on Instagram and Twitter. And um, I just started a, a Facebook page and I'll put links to all that stuff down in the description box if you want to check any of that out. And other than that, I hope I will see you again next time.